assistant professor electronics and telecommunication engineering walchand institute of technology solapur today we will discuss time period measurement using ic 74c926 learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to describe time measurement scheme using ic 74c926 contents we will first study the block diagram of time measurement scheme then we will take one example on time period measurement scheme and finally we will see what is resolution in a measurement here we start with the block diagram of time period measurement scheme as usual we have this 74c926 which is a counter plus display driver circuitry this consists of four decade counters so we require four seven segment displays which are displayed using multiplexing technique here this counter counts the clock pulses counter data is latched at the end of the counting period and the counter is reset by using this reset input to make this counter ready for the next measuring cycle and this display select pin is connected to ground so that this uh, latched data into this 74c926 will be displayed on this uh, display system so the measurement time period measurement is done by using this uh, block diagram here we require a crystal say of 1 megahertz then we require some frequency divider network and then this uh, signal is given to the and gate input unknown low frequency signal is applied here it is passed through this input interface circuit which is used for uh, signal conditioning of the the input signal it is then passed to the flip flop so that the whole time period this out this output of the flip flop will be on for whole time period of the unknown low frequency so that whatever the clock pulses given by this crystal oscillator are counted for uh, the whole time period of the unknown frequency signal the same signal is given to the control signal to generate the latch enable input to the 74c926 at the end of the counting and after the data is latched we should make this 74c926 ready for the next measurement cycle by generating this reset signal so these two signals are generated by this uh, control signal generating block time period measurement can be better understood by using see the example consider a low frequency whose time period is to be measured as 50 hertz from this we can find out the time period t is equal to 1 by 50 which is 20 millisecond okay so time period of this input signal frequency is 20 millisecond so this we should uh, get on the display device using ic 74c926 we can display this value maximum because uh, this ic 74c926 consists four decade counters so four digit display with this uh, number will be 2000 for above example that is this 50 hertz signal that is the count value maximum is 2000 okay so count value how this count value is obtained that is uh, this uh, oscillator frequency signal is counted for 20 milliseconds that means 
uh, how many clock pulses of this oscillator frequency should consist in 20 milliseconds to get the count is equal to 2000. So, since here it is a 2000, so put the value by putting the value the T oscillator we found as 20 millisecond divided by 2000 that is 0 0.01 millisecond. Therefore, the F oscillator frequency given to for counting is 100 kilohertz. If you look at the previous diagram, here what is required is here we require 100 kilohertz, but we have 1 megahertz. So, this must be divided, this frequency divider network must be of value 10, so that we get from 1 megahertz the 100 kilohertz. And for this uh, 50 hertz signal, we get uh, the maximum count is equal to 2000. That means 2000 we can say uh, uh, count is there. Now, we can adjust the decimal point that means we can activate this get uh, 20 dot 0 0 means it is a 20 millisecond unit of measurement will be millisecond. So, this will vary this count will vary if the input frequency is vary, varies. So, this way we get a time period measurement scheme then we resolution in frequency measurement. So, first Resolution is a measure of the number of digits in the reading of the frequency. Okay. So, in frequency measurement, resolution is determined by the gate time. In previous uh, video, we saw that this gate time we can adjust for changing the resolution. Okay. So, for example, if gate time is 1 second, then resolution will be 1 hertz. That means, uh, resolution will be here less. 1 hertz means uh, error in uh, measurement will be plus or minus 1 hertz. If you want resolution to be good, then you can increase the gate time to tenfold, that is 10 second, then resolution will be improved and it will be 0.1 hertz. So, now here resolution is, so error in the measurement will be just 0.1 hertz, but here error in the measurement is 1 hertz. So, to decrease the error in uh, measurement or to increase the resolution, what we have to do is we have to increase the gate time. That is why in frequency measurement, resolution is determined by the gate time. Uh, this is the time for which the counter is counting the number of pulses. We know already this one. Now, let us see resolution in time period measurement. The resolution of the time period measurement is better, is better than frequency measurement, since in a frequency measurement the count will be out by plus or minus 1 hertz, as we saw already here, uh, this resolution will be, uh, gate time is 1 second resolution will be 1 hertz. So, in frequency measurement, the resolution will be plus or minus 1 hertz for gate time is equal to 1 second, whereas in time counting, it will be out by plus or minus 1 oscillator clock frequency, which is higher value. That is why the resolution using time period measurement will be better than the frequency measurement. Let us derive a formula which decides when to go for time period measurement. Consider a f oscillator frequency of 1 megahertz as usual, f x is an unknown frequency, f t is a time based frequency generally which is 1 hertz and n is a count value which is displayed on the display device. Now, in frequency measurement n that is a count value, how it is found? that is unknown frequency f x divided by time based frequency f t, but always f t is 1 that is why n is equal to f x this is equation number 1. And in period measurement n is equal to f oscillator frequency divided by f x. Okay. 
So, here in time period measurement what is counted is uh, oscillator frequency signal is counted for a time period of a unknown frequency signal. So, this is equation number 2 we can equate equation 1 and 2. So, we get f x is equal to f oscillator divided by f x. So, f x is equal to under root f oscillator. Since f oscillator we have chosen as 1 megahertz. So, we get 1 kilohertz. That means, if unknown frequency f x is 1 kilohertz or less than 1 kilohertz, it is better to go for time period measurement instead of frequency measurement. And if the input frequency f x is greater than 1 kilohertz, it is better to go for frequency measurement. Let us have a question. Which method of measurement gives better resolution? whether frequency measurement or time period measurement. You pause the video and answer the question. The answer will be as discussed earlier, it depends upon the input signal frequency. If, if the input signal frequency is less than square root of oscillator frequency, then it is better to go for time period measurement. And if the input frequency is greater than square root of oscillator frequency, it is better to go for frequency measurement. References Electronic system designed by Vaibhav T. Tarate, Electrotech Publications, Satara. Thank you.